hello students welcome to my youtube channel today i will discuss about theory of arcing ground the phenomenon actually the arcing ground of an ungrounded system so if we deal with a paw system which is not grounded so what will be the problem what are the problem uh, we may face during the fault i'll discuss today uh, we have we, we know that uh, during fault the phase voltage the phase voltage of the healthier phase may increase how today i'll discuss it so uh, today we'll, i'll discuss about the arcing ground phenomena so now ungrounded system is one where the neutral is not connected to the earth thus neutral of ungrounded system is isolated arcing ground is an electrical phenomenon in which the voltage of a faulty phase fluctuate due to capacitive charging current now uh, let us take let us take a three phase ungrounded system say this is phase a then this is phase b this is phase c uh this is our neutral point you know that and uh it is well known that a charging current will flow to the ground a charging current will flow to the ground a charging current will flow to the ground and form a capacitor so this is the charging current for this is the charging current for capacitor uh, this is a capacitor this is all our capacitor they are same identical uh, so this is ia the charging current due to phase a then charging current for phase b and then charging current for phase c now the now uh, th the system is not grounded okay and here the charging current will flow like this so what what is the problem what is the problem now uh, let me discuss this phenomena first so uh, we know that a uh, transmission line has shunt capacitance those are shunt capacitance and due to that shunt capacitance a charging current flows in flows from line to ground this is under normal condition okay so uh, uh, let us let us let us assume that this this is a balanced system and in this balanced system say this is our phase a voltage and this is our phase b obviously they are 120 degree apart with each other if the system is balanced and this is phase c now uh, where the charging current will lie where the charging current will be there So obviously the charging current is due to the capacitor so current will lead by 90 degree so obviously the charging current will lead the charging current ia lead va by 90 degree again it is vc this is ic it will also 90 degree with vc and with vv it will be again 90 degree so this is i we know that okay so this is under normal uh, normal balance condition here we know that i plus ib plus ic will obviously zero they are also 120 degree apart with each other so under balance condition ia plus ib plus ic is equal to zero now uh let us consider that somehow somehow uh, a fault occur a lg fault line to ground fault okay Uh, i'll discuss lg fault uh, in another lecture so uh, let us assume that there is a lg fault so 
so this is neutral which is obviously not grounded a phase then b phase will come and then phase c say somehow this here a fault occur okay a fault occur so uh, as usual the charging current due to a and b will continue to flow to the ground like this okay so rather right now the charging current is nothing but the summation of ia plus ib okay this is ia this is your ib okay so uh, this is our this is our this is our uh, fault current this is our fault current so what happened actually uh, this phase this phase c this line c come to the connection with the ground what does it mean it means that there is this path is not closed this path is not grounded properly if it is grounded then then current will flow in that path current will flow in that path in that path like this okay as as it is as this path is not connected with the ground so current will close this path in that direction current will close this path in that direction that means this i plus i b will flow in that direction and right now here the direction of the current is in that direction but under faulty condition the direction of the direction of these two phases this two line is same same as the previous one they are same but here here it will it will opposite okay it will opposite so that is the main problem what, what we may face so so uh, it is it is uh, it can be observed from here that it can be observed from here that right now if we apply kcl over here if we apply kcl over here what we can write we can write we can write ic is equal to ia plus i b okay so this is our this is our charging current right now now what is the problem the problem is i c here i c in c phase will flow towards the neutral i c is flowing towards the neutral okay therefore we can say that phase voltage of c phase voltage of c phase has reversed its direction this is this is uh, in turn uh, means that the voltage of neutral point has shifted from ground potential to phase voltage okay so this potential will appear here that means that means the potential at the neutral is not zero right now okay so that potential will be something else what we'll discuss now uh, now here the potential is c here the potential is c in the first case here the potential is zero here the potential is zero but here, right now the potential at this point is equal to pc this potential will come here okay so uh, so the, the phase voltage so the phase voltage van this was van is the phase voltage here this v, this voltage will not longer in, in this case here 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 the voltage is van an means here the voltage is zero here the voltage is zero so it is an but right now here the voltage is vc so so in in the in the faulty condition we can write in the faulty condition in the faulty condition we can write the faulty condition we can write that v a n is equal to v a minus v c so this is the important thing this is the important thing or rather rather it means that it means that the the phase voltage the phase voltage in the healthy phase 
phase voltage in the healthy phase is equal to the line voltage equal to the line voltage that means that means that means here the voltage here the voltage will appear root 3 times root 3 times so so whenever whenever due to fault the whenever due to the fault uh, the fault for uh, the uh, okay, uh, during the fault the phase voltage of the healthy phase that is a and b will be root 3 times of the root 3 times of the phase voltage so uh, what is what is the problem due to this due to this the insulation may break down so this is the problem of ungrounded system now uh, let me let me draw the phasor diagram in this condition now now due to the fault now due to the fault what will happen due to the fault uh, this was our this was our first phasor diagram and and right now we'll draw the second phasor diagram second phasor diagram the, in the faulty condition okay so here v a n v a n v a n is right now v a minus v c that is p a c so so the, it was the balanced three phase voltage before the fault but but during fault during fault voltage will appear neutral will shift and v a c is right now is equal to v a n in the same manner in the same manner in the same manner v b c is equal to v b n okay v b c is equal to v b n now uh, obviously if v a c v a c is here and the neutral is shipped to this point so obviously what where the i a will stay i will be 90 degree lead that means it will be anti clockwise with the v a c so so i a so this will be your i a okay and obviously vbc will be uh, ib will be in this direction it will be ib okay so what do you need to find out you need to find out ic ic is equal to i plus ib ic is equal to i plus ib that is the obviously the vector sum it is obviously the vector sum so we, we, we need to draw the vector sum okay so it is clear that uh, the angle between i and ib is 60 degree so it, this is it will be th uh, so 60 degree so after the vector sum what you can write it will be so ic will be so ic will be root 3 times then ia or ib ia or ib root 3 times so the charging current will increase root 3 times to the main to the main uh, to the normal normal phase current so th these two are the main problem we may face due to the ungrounded system okay so that's why that's why uh, it is very much important to ground the system though uh, so by th those expression it is clear that the charging current in faulted phase this is the faulted phase the charging current in the faulted phase is three times that of the normal charging current those are normal charging current it is root three times uh, root three times of the uh, normal charging current uh, root three times okay actually it will be three times uh, let me let me uh, describe derive it again okay uh, say uh, also ia and ib will also increase root three times due to this due to this phenomenon ia and ib will also increase root three times why because this voltage is increasing by root three times so i will also increase root three times and here IC is in, IC will increase root three times of the IS. So overall, overall it will increase three times, three times of normal charging current. So this is the this is the dangerous thing can happen due to the due to the arcing. Okay, so this phenomenon of arcing is known as arcing ground, and this is very important. And by using Peterson coil, uh, we can eliminate the arcing ground. Okay, I hope this is clear. Thank you for watching my video.